Na 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 Hello everyone, welcome to this channel again. Uh, this is the first video of 2019 and let's start with something really interesting. Uh, in this video we'll talk about machine learning. Not just machine learning but the classification of it. Like if you want to learn machine learning which sector to go for, what exactly is an AI? Uh, supervised, unsupervised, what exactly is a neural network? How do those things are classified all together? How they come up together? So. Let's see. And I've also bought a board, whiteboard, for this channel. Um, I'm kind of excited about it because I'm planning a lot of different things in this year. So let me know if that was a good idea to explain everything on board rather than uh, putting onto the videos here itself. Now you can take screenshots of the board itself. Every information I'll be sharing on this video will be on the board, pre-fed on the board. So now you can take screenshots. You can take follow-throughs of the whole video and. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. Yeah, so talking about artificial intelligence, uh, this term was actually coined in 1940s. That time, uh, this particular segment or this particular field of robotics, we can call it that way, was not really into picture. The research was not towards it. Uh, the mathematical support was not there. Researchers were not really keen in working on, on artificial intelligence that time because lack of support, lack of technology, lack of processing power and everything else. So that was not popular back then. Now in 1980s when we actually uh, powered up our electronics powers, our processors, our, our GPUs and everything else, this machine learning sector picked up. Now in 1940s the activation functions were coming up, researchers were trying to work on this more, try to figure out a way to uh, get maximum output in minimum processing power. All those things really happened in the 1980s. So artificial intelligence actually has two segments. Uh, first is applied AI, which we call it as machine learning. And the other part is generalized AI. In generalized AI, we actually expect the neural network to understand the context of the data given. Why was the data given like this? What do you really mean out of this? Um, the reasoning behind the data, the reading between the lines, all those things were actually expected in generalized AI. This is a higher form of AI. And it is still under research phase and we have not really got any output out of this. So we don't really talk about this much because it is not industrial grade. Now this has been exploited a lot, applied AI, which we call it as machine learning. This has three different segments. As you can see, the first one is supervised learning. In supervised learning, you give input to a neural network, you give the output to a neural network, and that network learns a pattern between input and output. Now there, there are two kinds of data that you can really give here. You can either classify the data, like if, if the orange is uh, blue, if, it, if the orange looks blue, it can also be apple, or something like that. The classification of the images can be done in supervised learning. Uh, regression, for example, stock market. This actually comes into supervised learning where the input has been given, the output has been given and there is a trend at which it's moving. So that that expectation and that uh, forecasting can be done in regression also. So this becomes supervised learning where you give input, you give output and you expect a pattern to come out and you use that pattern for further studies. The next one is unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning, you actually give lot of different kinds of data. For example, these days, uh, Google, it actually uh, tells companies what product we are buying, which car we are using, uh, what food we have uh, had last night or la last week, what is the trend, uh, what clothes am I buying, all those different fields, the data from different fields actually come together and make a personality out of you. It gives a result, a particular result. Maybe this person is like this. If this person is going in this way, so he might like this in next month or next year. All those expectations can be done, those results can be done using unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning, we do give different kinds of input, and but we don't expect an output. We just see a pattern. If we could catch a pattern between the inputs and can be used later on for our further studies. So for example, recommendations in the, uh, on YouTube or different kinds of channels, and uh, your ads that, that come up in all of your websites actually has been done by unsupervised learning. 
Now the third part is reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is basically real-time changing of parameters until that particular system starts to learn in a way that we want it to learn. For example, it is used in robot navigation. Now robot navigation, what we do is basically we keep changing the parameters of the robot till the point it starts to go forward. We start, to, we start moving our motors first and see what kind of result am I getting? Is it wrong or right? So it keeps iterating, keeps changing the parameter, keeps learning and we have given just one output. We, want, we are expecting just one output to go front. Do whatever you want, just go front. So that is the time when we do reinforcement learning. Game AIs, for example, game, in, uh, game like Rise of Nations. There are four players playing in the same map. Uh, now who will win exactly depends of how fast are you playing, what resources you have, you have, what kind of army you have, what kind of um, artilleries you have. All those parameters come into picture. So that is basically game AI. The game understands your field, your understanding, your, your way of playing and then tries to put on himself and tries to win the game. That is game AI. So now you can see all three sectors coming up together. Like you can see supervised learning if you want something to, to be classified like object classification or something, handwriting classification if you want, that can be done in classification or supervised. If you want to see stocks, if you want to see some regression, like if, if in next three years, if the country will go up or down, how is the trend and everything else can be done in regression. Uh, if it is unsupervised learning, you can go with recommendations, like different kinds of data, we call it big data these days. That can be done, ads as Google is already using it, can be done yeah, under unsupervised. In reinforcement learning, you can do robot navigations. In reinforcement learning also, you can do game AI, you can do some other things as well. So this is the whole segment of artificial intelligence. Don't get confused. If, you, if you're getting confused, if you have some questions, you can always let me know in the comments below. And I'll try to class, uh, clarify the questions you have. <laughs> Uh, so this is it and uh, yeah thank you for watching um, see you guys in the next video